Warning, sensitive images. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven, God speed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. I nostri programmi sono offerti in molte lingue. Consultate suprememastertv.com barra schedule. Food can take up to 48 hours to pass through the intestinal tract, which is much more akin to a herbivore, you know, like a sheep, because it takes a long time for it to pass through through the gut. Brain based is the natural diet. Dr. Kim Benson, vegan, part one of two. Continue watching to find out more. We see that a vegetarian or vegan diet is more healthy than a meat-based diet. And from what I've heard from the word scriptures, I've come to see that vegetarian is the diet that the Creator preferred for us. The Venerable Sivarama Swami, vegetarian. Vibrant viewers, my name is Urbano. When the radiant sun shines upon you, you may cheerfully say hola, meaning hello in Spanish, which is spoken in the North Caribbean coast autonomous region in Nicaragua. The humble people of the North Caribbean coast autonomous region wish that you are always surrounded by positive energy and a loving atmosphere in the grace of the divine. Welcome to our show entitled Plant Based is the Natural Diet, Dr. Kim Benson, Vegan, Part 1 of 2. In this two part series, we'll learn how Dr. Benson became vegan and hear her expert advice on why this way of eating is best for our well being. Dr. Benson who holds a PhD and doctorate in natural medicine, is the Canadian founder of the Inner Healing Academy that offers classes and coaching on plant-based eating. As a passionate educator, he has given more than a thousand public presentations to raise awareness of the compassionate vegan diet and help people empower themselves in life. Dr. Benson believes that people can take full control of their food choices and live harmoniously with all living beings on the planet. She has written two books, Go Dairy Free and Thrive, Learn Why and How to Go Dairy Free, and Go Vegan Successfully, Everything You Need to Know to Make a Smooth Transition to a Plant-Based Diet and Ensure You Get All Your Essential Nutrients. Let's hear from Dr. Benson regarding her story of becoming vegan. I've been a vegan now, I would say it's about eight years or so. I didn't intend to go vegan. What happened was my youngest son, when he was 18 and he graduated from school, he said, I am going to be a vegetarian now. And he was determined. And um, he said, you know, you've got these animals here, mom. We had goats and sheep and chickens and you'd never eat your own animals. I said, no, because I have a connection with them, you know. I sort of felt compassion and, you know, it's like a, a domestic animal, you know, like a dog or a cat, just exactly the same, except they lived outside in, in the fields. So I wouldn't, I would never kill them to eat them. Uh, he says, well, why are you then paying for other people to kill their animals and then you go and buy the meat in the stores. And I thought, well, obviously that is true. That is, that is correct. But you don't think about it, you know, on a daily basis. There's such a like a cognitive dissonance going on. Everyone's kind of in a kind of a stupor about it. It's really quite weird when you look into it. But it's the cultural conditioning. It's just so ingrained that those kinds of thoughts are normally right at the back of our minds. 
So he brought this thought to the forefront of my mind and I thought, well, that does make sense. And I consider myself an animal lover and here I am paying for other people to do something I will not do myself. So it kind of made sense. I thought, well, I'll go vegetarian with him. As Dr. Benson explored plant-based eating further, more surprising revelations came to her. I wanted to absolutely make sure that uh, me and my son, we were getting all of our nutrients. So I kept studying. I'm a very academic kind of a person and I want to know everything about it. And I kept seeing these references to a vegan diet. And I thought, ooh, I wonder what that entails. And then I, I sort of looked more into that and it was like, oh gosh, they don't eat, eat anything from an animal. They don't have any dairy or cheese and milk and they don't eat eggs. I then got a book called The, the World Peace Diet written by Will Tuttle and me and my son, we went through that together. It was such an eye-opening experience to realize that even dairy causes such stress to the animals. You know, in order for us to have milk and cheese and butter, we have to keep getting these cows pregnant and giving birth because they will only obviously produce the milk when they're pregnant. And it's like this endless cycle and it's kind of like torture and such abuse of these animals. And normally after about four years of doing that, they're just so worn out um, that they have to be sent off to the slaughterhouse. And normally a cow could live for about 20 years. So that just seems so wrong, so abusive to a sentient being. vegan because we can't live without the animal people. We will pause a moment for an important message and then be right back to hear more of Dr. Benson's story. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Plant-Based is the Natural Diet. Dr. Kim Benson, vegan, part one of two on Supreme Master Television. Let's continue to hear Dr. Benson's story about turning vegan. And then um, we thought, well, I could still eat the eggs from our, um, you know, our own chickens because I know that they're well looked after. Surely can't be anything wrong with that. But then of course I realized that these chickens have been bred so dramatically that normally a, a hen would lay about 12 eggs a year if you just left it to its natural instincts and its, its natural being. Um, but we've we've done all these contortions with them that they're, they're now producing about 300 eggs a year. That puts tremendous strain on their, their bodies. And it's just, it's so cruel, you know? So I realized I, I was perpetuating that. And also you have to kill all the baby roosters you know, because they don't produce the, the eggs and the way they do that is just horrific. They usually just put them into a grinder, you know, on the first day of life. Poor little things. So it was such an eye opener to read that book and realize the cruelty that, that is going on. And it's just amazing to me that I, I hadn't really seen that before, even though I considered myself an animal lover. And it is because of the cultural conditioning that is so ingrained here. We then, you know, we went fully vegan. Why are humans meant to follow a vegan diet? Dr. Benson explains. Because the plant-based diet is our natural diet. Just think about it. Think about how we're designed. Um, if you consider our intestinal tract, it's quite long. Food can take up to 48 hours to pass through the intestinal tract, which is much more akin to a herbivore 
you know, like a sheep, because it takes a long time for it to pass through through the gut. Um, but uh, um, a carnivore has a short intestinal tract, so that meat, that raw meat that it consumes, will pass through within two to four hours, and then it, it's gone. But for us, it could be lingering and hanging around within the system for a long time. And oftentimes, things do get caught in the colon, and the col uh, colon cancer is the second most prevalent cancer in, in some parts of the world. It's, it's quite a common cancer, and that is due to often festering foods in the colon. So it's best that we have foods that will pass through smoothly, uh, easily digested, and pass right through. It's a clean movement through the system. So yes, when you look at the intestines, I think it's clear that the plant-based diet is, the, is our natural diet. As we've just heard, animal people meat hangs around and rust in our bodies after we consume it. For those wanting to transition to plant-based eating, what are some good animal people meat substitutes? I think particularly, you know, for those people who decide first of all to give up meat, meat is usually quite quite a bulky food on your plate, which you normally have with maybe your, your potatoes and your your vegetables or with your rice and your vegetables. And so meat is for most people is quite a major part of that meal. So it's quite quite bulky, quite a heavy part of the meal. So you need something to, to compensate for that. And I find that the the legumes, your, your peas, beans, lentils, are quite filling and bulky. So they'll help you to feel satiated, especially also if you can eat a handful of nuts along with that as well. Um, so I think that's something that can help you when you're transitioning and you're, you're in that process of giving up meat. I think uh, legumes can be really helpful. We cheer are in the world like Dr. Benson, who helped others to become vegan and thank her for raising public awareness of this noble lifestyle. For more information about Dr. Kim Benson, including her books Go Dairy Free and Thrive and Go Vegan Successfully, please visit innerhealingacademy.com. Go vegan and never look back. Intelligent viewers, Thank you for your company today on our program. Please join us again on April 8th for Plant-Based is the Natural Diet. Dr. Kim Benson, Vegan Part 2 of 2, where we will learn more about the importance of plant-based nutrition. Up next is Master Power supports the whole world Part 1 of 5 on Between Master and Disciples right after noteworthy news. May you walk the way of love and enjoy peace and tranquility always. Russia, leave Ukraine or you reign now. Peace be with you too. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.